spring is almost here, and for a lot of you, that means changes to your home or getting your garden in shape. And there's a show you must check out this weekend. Here to get, a, here to get us ready for the Southern Home and Garden Show, Michael Day, along with Carolina Fresh Farms. Mills, thank you so much for being here with us. Appreciate it. Thank you. You guys excited? Yes, we are. Tomorrow's the big day, then it lasts until Sunday. So for those who've never heard of the Southern Home and Garden Show, what types of things can we expect over the weekend? Well, first, if you haven't heard of the Southern Home Garden Show, where have you been? Where have you been? That's You've been right. under some grass, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> We've been producing it for 55 years. So uh, it's at the TD Convention Center this weekend. Opens at 10 o'clock on Friday morning, mm -hmm. tomorrow morning. Um, and we have about 300 exhibitors who are there um, to show you uh, everything that you need to know about improving your home, making your home better, safer, more energy efficient, uh, cleaner. Yeah, and, and there's a lot of uh, things people deal with during springtime. You're doing spring cleaning, spring re renovations, and things like that. So it's a one-stop shop for, for all of that to be done. Um, Mills, tell us, tell us a little bit about what we have here and how this plays into the booth that they're going to be it, stopping by. It, it's very simple. It's spring. It's a home and garden <laughs> show in the spring of the year. We have been proud sponsors and exhibitors at the Home and Garden Show for many years mm -hmm. now. And the type of information you can gain is just this, and that's what I brought as an example of what do you have, a cool season lawn versus a warm season lawn. Mm -hmm. Because each lawn gets treated differently this time of the year. It's and people think, well, once spring. my lawn looks like this, I don't, I don't need to do anything. There's still things to do. You know, <laughs> it's that time of the year, crabgrass, all those summer weeds are, right. are beginning to germinate, mm -hmm. certainly in the next few weeks. So there are different types of products and things that you would mm -hmm. use on a warm season grass, which is dormant, like a zoysia, versus a cool season, which is fescue. So it's a good representation. If your viewer doesn't know what type of lawn they have, at least they can get it to a warm season exactly. or a cool season. Exactly. Most people are just like, it's green or it's not. And you get to break out all those types of terms that are uh, your experts at this. So that makes That's it correct. a whole lot easier. So what booth number will you be at in case we want to stop by and talk uh -huh. to you about Right. You probably don't know, but you're, like, you're putting me on the spot. Aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> We're on one of the main aisles. So there. you know how I played it into. You just have to come and figure out where Mills is, right? I don't have the exact number, but it's around 3:30. Okay. Well, and the good thing, Michael, we do know that we have the garden symposium taking place mm -hmm. at various That's times, right. uh, sponsored by Carolina Fresh Farms. Right. Uh, other stages, DIY. That's right. There's a DIY stage uh, sponsored by Hot Springs Pool, mm -hmm. Pools and Spas. It gets more into the home improvement parts of the things that you may right. do in your home. And, of course, the Carolina Fresh Farms uh, garden stage gets more into the yard and all of that. And what I don't see on this table is what my lawn looks like, <laughs> which is either bear patches or weeds. <laughs> like but I know Mills and his team are going to be able to teach you how to turn, at least turn that into this. We will kick off the garden symposium Friday, I believe, at 3.30 with a good topic for you. Preparing your lawn and garden for spring and summer. I'll be in the audience. <laughs> there you go. I will be in the You'll audience. be there. Michael will be there uh, for that. Again, it's happening this Friday through Sunday, 10 to 7 on Friday and Saturday, and then noon until 5 on, on Sunday as well. There's also going to be a cooking station with right. uh, the Ingalls Chef's Kitchen. That's right. Which they're great, great friends of our show. We do uh, our stories each week with recipes. You can see that live and in action at the TD Convention Center coming up uh, this weekend. So we appreciate you guys uh, being here. So get off the couch this weekend. Grab, grab your significant other and go make some plans to make your home a little bit better. We, we appreciate you guys being here. If they, wanna, if they don't get to make it to the expo for some reason and they want to reach out to you about information on their lawn, what's the it, best way it, for them it, to do that? There's two simple ways. First is the Internet in today's world at <laughs> www.carolinafreshfarms.com. And we also have a live call-in radio show Saturday mornings on WORD 106.3 from 9 to 10. So, so a couple ways to get in touch with you guys. Show. And, uh, Michael, if we want to go to a website to find out more information about the Southern Home and Garden Show, how can we do that? Easy. SouthernHomeAndGardenShow.com. <laughs> there it is. And you can also go to the Home Builders website, um, HBA of Greenville. Dot com. Dot com. Correct. It's also a great website for you to get more information on there. So grab the family and head out there on this weekend.